morning, everyone. Uh, we are back. Uh, let's talk. Today we have Eddie Huynh, uh, who will be speaking with us about virtual tours. Eddie, can you introduce yourself on what you do? Hi, everyone. My name is Eddie Huynh. I run a full service real estate media company uh, named New Day Studio in Boston area. Uh, I do photos, videos, um, virtual tours, um, 3D renderings, anything real estate uh, media really to help uh, agents to with their sales and as well as like uh, elevate their brand. And uh, that's all I do. All right, thanks for the introduction, uh, Eddie. So uh, I really wanna thank you and welcome to the last talk. Uh, we came back uh, from our break in the summertime. Uh, so this is our 12th episode, uh, and I would like you to share with our audience on the definition that you have for virtual tours. Okay, so um, the virtual tours are not exactly popular uh, until this March when COVID happens. Uh, as well, you know, you can see Zoom is like the way to, to go now for uh, uh, talking on the phone. So uh, what virtual tours are is, I think, is the proverbial way for uh, future home of sales, just like how Zoom is for a conference call. Uh, think docu signs for homes. Docu signs allow anyone anywhere in the world legally sign a contract. So virtual, virtual tours are the same way. They allow the same thing for home listings. They let anyone anywhere in the world view the home as if they were standing in it, reaching more potential uh, buying and creating less friction for the step needed to view a home. So it's, it's proven that homes with high quality virtual tour sell 30% faster. That allows any agent to sell 30% more homes per year. I bet any Asian would love a 30 more percent, right? Of course. Um, yeah, home with high quality virtual tour are proven to increase listing appointment over 40%. So that's like, if you have, if for regular homes, you have 10 uh, appointments with virtual tour, you would have 14. Is my math correct? I, I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, with this new normal, right? Uh, when we we as aging uh, post property for sale for rent, uh, there are different type of videos that are out there, um, and I believe there are some misconceptions on what actually uh, virtual tours are. Uh, so, can you talk about uh, about that or elaborate on that? Uh, of course. So, I prepare a little slideshow. Uh, in order to uh, show people what are the misconceptions of virtual tour people have. So first of all, virtual tours are not photo slideshows. When you have a bunch of photos, zoom in and out uh, to create transition uh, between photos, uh, it, they cannot help the buyers visualize the entire space and connect between the two uh, rooms that are next to each other. They are not, uh, virtual tours are not iPhone panoramic photos where you use your phone and then just uh, uh, scan the entire, like scan a, a large space. Uh, you also need a special soft, software to put together those panoramic photos. And also, they still not allow the buyers to visualize the space. The next one is they're not. Uh, so for what? instance, in this um, video, we are showcasing yes. just a collection of pictures. Collection of pictures. So they're not really virtual tours, but people uh, still think that they are virtual tours. So in, in this uh, example, you can't really see the ceiling. You can't 
uh, use of stop your, by yourself and then um, move it around and go, uh, take a look at every uh, at the surrounding area. You only see what you they show you. Okay. Yeah. So you were also talking about the this type of video. tour. Uh, so can you explain more on this uh, type of video? Sure. Uh, Sometimes I see on Zillow listing, uh, they'll, this property have a virtual tour. And when I click in, it's actually just a regular video like this one I created for my client. This is not a virtual tour. This is just a regular video, guys. <laughs> OK. OK. And then we have walkthrough video. Um, I also made it for my client. And still not virtual tours just a regular video, which does a better job at showing the space, but people can still not stop and then take a look around. So now, um, so from should... what, from, sorry. So from what I see is that at least through this type of video, uh, you can showcase somewhat like the type of lifestyle or how the neighborhood looks and stuff like that, but not the actual virtual property tour. Yeah, so if you click on uh, at the later time in the video. Yeah. Um, uh, later, later. Oh, wait. So go to the, the half of the at half of the video. Yeah. Can you go back? Yeah, there you go. So it's uh, cinematic. This is mm -hmm. a water cinematic video so I do this it creates a very good feeling um, like like you can actually immerse yourself into the property and imagine how it would be like and the music choice and the transition and the video technique can help create an emotion of a uh, response but it's still not virtual tour <laughs> I see okay yeah. all right so how about we dive in into what's actually a virtual tour? Okay. So you prepare us these two links. Yep. So this is what a virtual tour should be like. So Elena, if you uh, tr click and track, you, you yeah. So you, you can actually see everything 360. You can see the bottom, you can see the ceiling. You can stop and look, you can, yeah. So this this is what a virtual tour should be like. So it's basically give you a feel that you are there. Yes. Without being and there. If you have the uh, VR classes, you can actually be there as well. <laughs> I see, okay. And then you have this other 3D rendering tour that's yeah. also using the set platform. Yeah, using the same platform, uh, I create, so I go to the property and I scan uh, using my 360 cameras. So this is the construction actually going on. Um, and uh, I go back home and I create a model, a 3D model rendering, and I make it like it's finished and ready for pre-sale three months ahead of the construction. Uh, which is very beneficial for uh, the builder and the real, real real estate agent. Oh, this is awesome. So it's basically like a virtual tour, but you are kind of already doing the rendering for yeah. um, the owners. Yes. So uh, in this um, tour, you can you go back to the kitchen and living after? Okay, um, move to the to the right. Uh, so what I, is it not there? Uh, that's supposed to be, I mean, so what I wanted, wanted to show is that I can add like an info spot anywhere in the tour where it can say, oh, here, right here is a half bath. There is a, oh, there, right there. That's a half bath right there. So it's, it's very cool. You can add pretty much anything. And you can also add your information on the top left corner as well. But I uh, removed it for this purpose. All right. 
So it's very, very personalized. So I had, um, you helped me create one of the video for my property. So one of the uh, tools or feature of this uh, platform is that you can actually do the video tour with your client directly uh, without actually being present or physically in the, um, in the property. So I feel that that's a cool feature, especially when uh, there are some sellers or tenants that are in the property they don't feel comfortable yet for having like in-person viewing. So I think this is a great alternative in order to do actual property virtual tours. Yeah, you just need to do it one time and that's it. And you can show it to anyone in the world. All right, that's so cool. So like, uh, can you tell us um, like what type of benefits do we get from having a virtual tour done professionally of course so the the benefit of having a virtual virtual tour done professionally is that uh, i think home buying is a process of elimination right we can all agree that oh when we go to this house we don't like it we move on to the next one until we find the one we love so virtual tours allow agent help a buyer narrow down home selection in minutes, not weeks. If everyone has virtual tours, I mean, <laughs> you can go to any houses you like and check it out and then um, move. If you like it, you're gonna tour, uh, you're gonna schedule an appointment to actually look at it in person. If you don't like it, you don't go for it. So. In, in matter of weeks, I, I mean, in matter of minutes or days, you can find the one that you really like. Uh, you can reach out to the, a very large audience of buyers. Um, also with the use of a hotspots and info tagging, an agent can embed answers to common question in the virtual tour. Like I show you when I uh, put a, a hotspot info about a half bath, so people don't have to second guess what is behind that wall. Um, potential buyers can stop and look around in a room without actually being, being in it, letting them ponder with their new sofa, where, do, where their new sofa should be placed. So it creates engagement, it, uh, and engagement creates emotional response. Uh, it also, virtual tour also allows agents to advertise to a broader audience of potential buyers. They no longer have to wait for someone to drive by and see for the sale and see the for sale sign. Agent can literally add, advertise to anyone anywhere and anyone from anywhere can view the home in minutes. So uh, Last weekend, I saw a, a realtor, a friend of mine, posting a photo of a long line of home buyers, like waiting to get in line of a of an open house. And I want everyone. I, I think everyone should do virtual tour now because you know, is 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 the regulation and the uh, uh, this weird time that uh, that's you know, waste a lot of people's time. Well, definitely there are efficiency in order to do like virtual tours, like we don't actually have to be physically there um, and then also help minimize the contact uh, with, you know, the, the tenants and then the clients uh, and including the agents. So I think it actually facilitate um, the, the viewings of the property. And I think like it will be cool to also like kind of track on how many people actually view the property and stuff like that. That's correct. Yeah, you can actually see how many uh, people actually view the tour. Uh, so yeah, perfect. Yeah, those are, are great information uh, for us as agent to also show our sellers um, that you know there how many activity the listing has uh, produced. So uh, to wrap up the show today, uh, can you give us some tips for agents and also home sellers on how to prepare for the virtual tour before uh, a professional like yourself coming into the property and then shoot the, the video? Okay. 
So I have some tips. If you're going to have a professional going into your home and do a virtual tour, I would advise re uh, real estate agents and homeowners to, first of all, declutter. Because 360 camera, uh, they see everything. And I mean everything. <laughs> uh, you have to remove anything personal. Uh, you have to remove faces uh, or picture if possible. If you don't want the camera to pick that up. You have to clean the window so it allows more lights to come in and it looks better, cleaner. Uh, there should be no pets or people around during the shoot because it's gonna uh, waste everyone's time uh, and it allows like um, mi mistakes to happen. Uh, it's, you should also empty all countertop and tables. Um, if you can, um, hire someone to physically stage the home because that would look better on the virtual tour than an empty home without sofa, without dining table. Um, I mean, I, this, is, this is one of the tips. You should pay for high quality virtual tour, <laughs> but I might be you know, conflicted about that. Um, if possible, embed a, embed a video of the current owners or agent talking about some highlights of the home that creates engagement right from the start. And uh, that, that's something technical, but um, I can talk about that uh, if anyone wants to do that. Just uh, email me. All right, thank you, Eddie. Uh, this has been a great conversation about virtual tour. Um, so can you let our audience know how to reach out to you if they have any further questions about your services? Okay, uh, I am available through text or email. Uh, my phone number is 857 294 6251 or info at newday studio.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at Eddie Hoon. Yeah, talk oh. to me. Let me know if, what I can do for you. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Eddie. This has been a lot of fun, and, and I, I appreciate that you come on for the last talk. Thank you so much, Elena. It's been fun.